So they say criminals always return to the scene of the crime. For Anthony Weiner, it's true. The idiot New York congressman who sent graphic shots of his anatomy to young women via Twitter has actually returned to Twitter as of yesterday. He tweeted three times. Thankfully, no pictures. I suppose he figured with all the crap going on in the world, who would notice him sneaking back on? But I did. I could smell him. Is this a big deal? It is. See, believe it or not, he's planning to run for mayor of New York, which is a slap in the face to this great city. Sure, New York is weird, crazy, and politically asinine, but we still don't deserve the abuse from a loser in love with his loins. So he's back on Twitter to break the ice, and we can't let him. And come on, where is the shame? Wouldn't it make sense that a man who humiliates himself, his wife, and his public office should be man enough to leave public life forever and get an actual job that taxpayers do not support? Have some pride, learn a trade, open a craft store, become an erotic photographer. Bottom line, get a damn job. The fact that he's vying for office again shows you he really thinks he's above it all, or he's really got no other talents, which is the real issue here. Wiener isn't even qualified to being a politician. And this is New York City. We are under a constant threat of terrorists with an emboldened interest in soft targets. In this new era of suspicious packages, we don't ever need to see his again. <laughs> I, I didn't. I didn't believe you were going to go there with that line, and then you did. Well, that's why anyway, I wrote the monologue. You wouldn't, you wouldn't even let me do my line. <laughs> well, anyway. see, mine's subtle. He wrote the punchline, and yeah, then that, like that I wrote the punchline, and then I climbed my way yeah. up the monologue, yeah. <laughs> and there I have that, it standing there. That was there. subtle. Yeah. By the way, the guy still has 68,000 followers on his other Twitter account, which he's left open while starting a new one. Because well, they probably sat there and hoped that maybe they, you know, yeah. you know listen, maybe he'd follow them back. Let's not let's not take this too lightly. Now the polls show that this guy's running second. In some I know. Cases. Oh, and in the win. Democratic wait, wait a minute, in the Democratic primary in New York, there's no runoffs. You can win with no, 22. Win. You, is it crowded? Win. Okay, you may say that, but I've seen worse happen. I had a guy who was a candidate, never should have won. He said the only way I could lose is if I was with a, a live boy or a dead woman, and he was with both, and, <laughs> and, and he still got the nomination. I'm well, saying I that's think he's going to win. I'm agreeing. I think he will win. <laughs> oh, you oh, you are. Oh, okay. Well, I'm yeah, with yeah, Eric. New York. I think he could win, and I think there are worse choices than him. Really? Yes, I do. Oh my God! And I admire his ability to keep his marriage together. She worked; they worked hard at it. They've worked through some Would terrible you, problems. I, we could make a joke right here us. with that statement, but we won't. I know. I. Uh, I, I you really I, do believe in standing by your man, even though your man is exposing I am, himself. I, I to think. Women. Isn't that look? Problem? I think that if if a if there is a marriage and there's a problem and they work through it to resolve it and they can keep to, and can stay together, I yeah, I'm for that. Wow. He, wa he, was, uh, he was hard at work in Congress, but I, I really think that um, <laughs> this will benefit the Republican candidate, Joe Loda, because yeah. if they split the vote, uh, you know, maybe this helps the Republican. You I think remember it could be a very good thing. got to run against a Democrat. Let's remember that. Well, that's true, but I do think there is some truth to what Eric just said. I mean, this is New York City. They yeah. have a very, yeah. very forgiving mentality yeah, well, look at, look at when it comes to that. Joe Lota again. Ask yourself, would you vote for this guy for, for mayor? Look at that. Can I but at least no. that's a picture like of him in a counting. suit, Bob. Right. He's not showing off his crotch. <laughs> where, where are his hands? Can I point something out? I can't stand Gawker. I can't stand Gawker. But Gawker just nailed it yesterday. Gawker threw up a said the, the first tweet was, hey, Anthony Weiner's got a Twitter account. And you press the, the, the link, and it opens up, and it says junk right there. Yeah. Wow. And then, oh, wait, wait. Well, two minutes later, they, Gawker comes and says, oops, that was supposed to be a DM. Now that was funny. Can you imagine all the headlines in the New York Post if he runs? I That's mean, just, just going to be a you know, The best thing that he could do is to give a speech where he makes fun of himself. All he's got to do is do like one or two jokes where he's self-deprecating about it and then owns up to it, and then he'll be all right. I can't I believe you. you. What, do you need what to has do happened to Dana Perino? Name. Who is this person next to me? I don't I'm know. the compassionate conservative. <laughs> she sounds like a winner organizer for up where she lives, baby. Who knows? Because people run around the Lower East Side without pants on. This is not a big I, deal. I did not do that for but five minutes. That's all it was, all right? Well, little kids are still crying about it tonight. <laughs> all right. I'm still crying about it. Yes.